Eternal Snow, Chapter 3, Fiona Knows Oto, Fiona's Gift. Fiona? Fiona? She heard someone call her name out. Fiona, hi me! She slowly opened her eyes. All she saw was the canopy to her bed. Fiona, you may! She turned her head to the side. She whispered. Hi! The little girl responded. Fiona tried to talk but found herself unable. She was barely able to move. Even so, she was able to feel. <coughs> she cleared her throat for another <coughs> attempt to talk. <coughs> what happened? She whispered. Sashori somehow got his arm back! She whispered in an excited tone. Fiona smiled as she turned her gaze back up. I don't remember. At least not all of it. They turned their heads <laughs> as the door opened. Rin, leave, Sir Shomaru ordered as he left the door open. Rin walked out and giggled as she closed the door. <laughs> How are you? He asked quietly. Fiona only frowned and turned her head away. You spoke before. Why do you not now? Fiona curled up under the covers as he took a seat next to her. I assure you, my lady, I don't bite. Fiona let out a small giggle at the joke. <laughs> Hungry? He asked as he opened a hidden door in the wall. He stood up out of his chia. Or perhaps you would like to bathe to get the stench of all that awkward blood off you. This is a secret passage that leads to an underground hot spring. You may go there. Fiona sat up and looked a little at the door. She turned to Seshomaru. If you're going to call me something, my name is Fiona. Not Fiona Hime, not Fiona Sama, and not Milady. Ah, so you're not a mute. Fiona slowly stood and limped to the door. I'm not a mute. I never was. I just don't like to talk. Why? Fiona set her head against the wall. I've been alone all my life. I'm not used to talking. My sound's different from when I last spoke. That is how little I talk. So Shomaru closed the door after she'd gone a good distance into the tunnel. So Shomaru was interrupted from his study as he heard a tune being played. It sounded like the song Rin often sung, only no words. He felt entranced by the music. Then he heard Rin singing along with the music. He looked into the castle garden to see Fiona sitting on a fallen log. Rin was in front of her. He watched as they sang the song again and again. Fiona, can Rin learn how to play that? Rin asked as she pointed to the strange instrument. Fiona giggled and played the song again. Rin put her arms out and began to sing as she slowly spun. So Shomaru caught her scent as the wind blew. All of her cuts and bruises were gone. Her scent was that of wildflowers and honey. Rin called out as she noticed his presence. Fiona stopped and looked up at him. Their eyes locked in a match to see who would break first. Rin looked back and forth from Fiona to Seshomaru. Fiona stepped forward into early sunlight. 
so Shomaru got a clear view of her figure. Her iridescent hair was mostly yellow and orange. There was some green and a little blue and purple. His eyes wandered to her hands, which held the strange instrument. What is that? he asked. Fiona lifted it and played a short tune. An ocarina! Where did you get it? My home, she answered as she turned around. Which is where? She began walking into the woods. Her hair faded to an iridescent purple as she walked into the shade. Her hair is so beautiful. So Shomaru felt himself step forward to follow her. He felt as though he were under a trance. She turned her head to glance at him. As her hair swerved over her shoulder, he felt a blush come to his emotionless face, something he hadn't done in years. Yo! She turned back around and continued walking. Gods, she is beautiful. He lost track of time as he followed her. Fiona reached into a kimono, pulling out the ocarina, and began to play a forest song. So Shomaru felt as though he were under a spell. An ancient spell. Called love. Fiona finished the song and put her ocarina away. So Shomaru stopped as she did. He watched her kneel down to pick up a tree seed. It glowed dark green. She whispered something as a green plant sprouted from it. She let go of it as it slowly fell to the ground. She said another word in the strange language as she extended her arms. Purple, purple. More of the green aura emitted from the tips of her fingers. Sashimru watched in awe as the seed took root and formed into a small tree. How? Life, she whispered. I gave it life. She turned back around and continued walking. <laughs> Sashomaru followed. They soon made it to an old cottage, old but well built. For Sashomaru, it looked like something out of a fairy tale. This is my home! How does she keep finishing me off? She turned around and signals for him to follow. He walked into the small house and looked around. One word could describe it perfectly. Enchanting. My gift, she began as she walked in, is to heal things. You need healing as well. I have my lost arm. I need no more healing. He would have stepped closer to him. Sometimes, when people are hurt, they hide it. Eventually forget about it. I don't understand. So Shomaru backed up, almost tripping in the process, as Fiona took another step forward. Your heart. What? Hi, Kokoro. She whispered, taking another step Your forward. Your heart is what needs healing. She took a few more steps forward and gently extended her arms, pushing him back. <laughs> he expended to hit the floor, but instead sat into a wooden chair. What do you mean? He felt his heart begin to beat faster. Fiona moved forward, lacing herself in his lap. He tried his best to hide the blush from his face as she placed her hands on his shoulders and moved forward. When the faces were only a breathe away, she stopped. Let me heal your heart. Sir Shomaru felt a cold wall break when her lips touched his own. And he knew. 
she had penetrated his emotionless barrier and worked her way into his heart. A faint whine escaped his throat as she pulled away, <laughs> but was silenced as she kissed him again. He wrapped his arms around her waist while she caressed his lips with her own. Fiona jumped as a tree fell. They heard another crackle and snap as another fell. Fiona asked. They heard a strange roar from a demon in the forest. <coughs> Fiona whined and hid her face into Sashomaru's Hakama. <coughs> she nearly screamed. Who? The demons! The demons that are after me! Sashomaru stood and pulled Fiona close with one arm while grabbing the hilt of Tokijin with the other. No harm shall come to you. I won't allow it. Fiona literally clung onto his clothes in fear. Sashomaru pushed the door open slightly to peer outside. He gasped <coughs> and closed it, leaving only a small crack. What is he doing here? Of all times! Woo! Fiona asked as she peeked out the crack. Isn't that... your brother? Reviews always welcome! Ah! 